Hi, everybody. Let me start by saying the obvious. These aren't normal times. And that's why I'm so proud to endorse Joe Biden for president of the United States. Choosing Joe to be my vice president was one of the best decisions I ever made, and he became a close friend. And I believe Joe has all the qualities we need in a president right now. He's someone whose own life has taught him how to persevere, how to bounce back when you've been knocked down. We have to step up and care for one another. Thank you all. Thank you all for listening. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. 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 Okay. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. And when they cut to the President of the United States. <laughs> we can handle with a lot of difficulty eight years of Donald Trump. But uh, if we have, uh, excuse me, four years of Donald Trump, but if we let it happen. I'm proud to say I was one of the first people to support Harry for being the minority lead, the majority leader. And before that, before that, the, the, the whip in the Democratic House, the Democratic Senate. It would put, it would put 720 million, back, million women back in the workforce. It would increase the GDP, to sound like a wonk here, by about eight-tenths of one percent. It would grow the economy. Time friend, time friend, and she's a friend. She's been my friend in and out of public life. I, I, I want to be clear. clear. I'm, I'm not, not going, going nuts. nuts. We choose truth over facts. When Bobby Kennedy and Dr. King had been assassinated in, in the 70s. I want to thank uh, uh, Rich Fitzgerald, the county executive, for Allegheny County executive, for being here. And all my time in public life, from I've gotten involved, the country wasn't built by Wall Street bankers, CEOs, and hedge, and hedge fund managers. If the enterprise hits hard times, everybody took a hit. Union workers, the UAW took incredible cuts in their future and their, and their pensions and the left to get GM working. They also got that last year and try to cut wages or freeze wages for the people. Right today, the same is happening in big hospitals in big hospital systems. I think we have to rethink. Look, I, I was, anyway. Well, here's your opportunity right now to just say you, you apologize, you're sorry. I think we can clean this up right now. Well, by the way, I, I did. I understand the, mm -hmm. right. yeah. it's, it, we haven't, there's so much more work to do to figure out how, the, the one important thing I know, well, I, 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 I tell you what the deal was. I, I did not, um, that, um, what, what I didn't want to do, and, and I, I didn't want to, quote, invader space. I didn't mm -hmm. want to get in the situation where this became, and then I, when, when I heard all this about the, and it was legitimate, expecting a call why, every time mm -hmm. the phone rang, why we, and so I, I, I spoke to some, uh, leading women advocates in this area who saw someone knew her. You know, I think what she wants you to say is, I'm sorry for the way I treated you, not for the way you were treated. I think that might be well, closer. Well, but, but um, I'm sorry the way she got treated. In terms of, I never heard say, if you go back and look what I said and didn't say, how we define what constitutes a successful economy. Folks in America don't think their children are going to have the same standard of living they had. How can a person dignity be maintained? Be so, uh, why, why they do that? It means investing much more in medical research to conquer, to conquer devastating diseases like cancer and addiction and Alzheimer's. And so, folks, when uh, when those folks came, you know, remember when he came down uh, down the uh, his uh, gilded escalator. What would happen with you in this? No, prison? but everybody knows who this guy is. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm looking forward to this, man. Come here, man. Hey, man. So, like, for example, uh, I actually thought in my head when I walked out here, I mean, <coughs> do I... I know. It's, we're friends. It's tricky. No, but, but 
I should be able to read better, but I have never in my life done anything in approaching a woman that has been other than trying to bring salt. I'm used to, like one of your staff was, I'm used to, I think it's really important we listen. Whether I sit down next to somebody and it's not invited to be to, to sit down. So that's my responsibility. I have to be more more aware and it's totally legitimate. But I, okay. but anyway, I, I think it's legitimate and I think it is uh, and to to to, to anyone. I, but I don't think anyone's ever said. But they have also uh, said we'd like an apology. Well, look, I, I I'm I'm really sorry if they. Nancy Pelosi wants you to say, "I'm sorry that I invaded your space." Sorry, I invaded your space. I mean, I, I and I, I'm sorry this happened.